From Hollywood to Washington, D.C., from media rooms to Main Street, allegations and revelations of sexual misconduct have rocked the nation and been part of the national political dialogue for the last couple of weeks. Joining me to discuss is KATV's Janelle Lilly and Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families, Tamika Edwards. Both are contributors to Top Business and Politics. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. You both have worked uh, around a state capitol where there is a culture of some of this uh, sexual misconduct that you see very openly. You've worked in a media room. You work in offices. We've, we've seen a lot of this over the years. How has this scandal of the last couple of weeks, this conversation of the last couple of weeks, hit you? I think, honestly, it, it's hit me in the sense that there have been so many men in my life who have just wanted to know more. You know, it's something they haven't really thought about necessarily or been involved in and they're just coming to me to verify, you know, does this really happen? Have you ever felt like that? And if it's happened to you, you know, is it happening to everyone? And the conversations it's opened up has been surprising. Yeah, how has it hit you to make it? I've been extremely fortunate in my work life to not have a supervisor who has treated me illly or um, has made sexual advances toward me. But I have been, I've observed it, you know, among friends and just out and about. And I'm not surprised that it's happening. I'm not surprised at how many people are coming forward. I think the thing that I am surprised about is how much attention has been brought to the issue. Yeah, why do you think that is? I mean, uh, is it just because of the, the powerful nature and reputation of some of the people that, um, that these allegations and revelations are coming out about? Or have we kind of opened up a, a, a comfort level with people coming forward and, and talking about mm -hmm. these things? And, you know, I think it started with the power. I think, you know, seeing some of the uh, Hollywood mm -hmm. types go down a peg or two, and, and then that started that Me Too movement, and then it transitioned a little bit more into politics and, and into the media rooms and to people just looking around them and seeing, you know, things that they've, they've really observed for years, but feeling now that they have the ability to say something, that you're not alone. Um, I think that's kind of the snowball effect that's created. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think the powerful people who have made this issue just come to light, have mm -hmm. they've had a huge impact on people just coming forward and being able to be comfortable and safe in saying it. And, you know, I can understand exactly why so many people in the past have not said anything because of how victims are treated once this information comes to light. Mm -hmm. uh, is there, are there different degrees to the misconduct? Do you mm -hmm. think that we ought to be careful to talk about in this conversation or should we lump it all into one great big conversation. And I guess the point I'm making mm -hmm. is, you know, what Roy Moore or Charlie Rose, is that different than Al Franken or uh, someone else? I think, it, I think we have to be careful to draw the line and say it's all wrong, you know, and just and make that the bright line rule. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as far as the degrees, I think the vulnerability of the victims, you know, if they're minors, mm -hmm. if, if they're your employees, if it, those are really things that, you know, when you're looking at victimization, that is very important to identify because those people have way less of a chance mm -hmm. to be able to say anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we have to be careful in saying that there are different degrees because if we do that, that just simply invalidates what's happening to the victim. And so I think we have to have a conversation about all of it. But I do agree that when we, we have to draw the line at children at some point in mm -hmm. talking about um, and making these similarities that children are just really off limits. So there are some different depths, I guess. That Correct. Say. Yeah, I would say um, that. So some people say that we're having a kind of a national moment. We're mm -hmm. having a, just almost a tipping point in the national conversation. We've had these moments in the past. Mm -hmm. Anita Hill in 1991, uh, the Clinton impeachment, another example. Donald Trump just a year ago was another big mm -hmm. example of, of a conversation like this. What do you hope happens this time around? Because it doesn't seem like it has changed the culture mm -hmm. despite these conversations in the past. Well, I hope to see true consequences. And I know that people tend to change the way that they act based on the consequences. And so we were able to see that with um, Mr. Weinstein and how he had to leave his company because he was accused of this and so many people had accused him of it and his company um, believed that he needed to step down. And so I believe the grave consequences that will fall out really need to be at the center so that people will have a change. And, and according to Uma Thurman, there may be more to come yeah. <laughs> judged by her Twitter I, feed. I, you know, I think we've seen this in other areas, uh, the military for example, when they started getting very serious about it, the, the consequences 
changed a lot of the, now there's still certain cultural things, not that it doesn't happen, but you will lose your position in the military, mm -hmm. dishonorable, just they're so severe that it makes that environment so much more comforting for women to go forward. You mm -hmm. know that you're not gonna be doubted and right off the top of it. Mm -hmm. And so I think the stronger the consequences, the more uh, empowerment you're gonna give to women. Mm -hmm. As far as the national change on this, I, and I, I might just be a pessimist, it just seems so ubiquitous and such a part of culture as a whole. I just mm -hmm. don't know that it will change just from this one event. It might be one of those things that we keep butting up against for years and years to come until until we train our children or our children's mm -hmm. children that this is the way you behave. Yeah, all right. It's a tough uh, topic of conversation, but it's one that needs to be yeah. uh, had. Absolutely. And on behalf of decent men and quite frankly, <laughs> on behalf of decent human beings everywhere, I do hope that we see something very positive come out of all this. Uh, Tamika, Janelle, thank you both very much. You're appreciate welcome. you being thank here. You. Yeah. And we appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much for watching today's program. I'm Roby Brock. We'll see you next time.